<laughs> I may have to cut the beginning of this off. Right. Hi, guys. Hi, <laughs> guys. Shantin and Be You For You. And oh, yeah. Have... And S has been busy. Look at this, guys. I'm trying to get the roof worked out here. And it's flipping complicated stuff. Because I suddenly realized that the roof couldn't come back next to the staircase or we'd never get up the staircase and I don't uh -huh. want to move the staircase so I decided we were going to have windows on either side and oh but that's nice uh, yeah I think so too and then it I doesn't have to be to... like a completely closed off area yeah. here and we could have a window at the end and if we want yeah. to put a porch on later we can but then oh but I like too. this it's like a little open area here with a lot of light kind of like if you had a skylight or something uh, you know there is kind going of a... to be a roof over this <laughs> I I know but you know it just brings in a lot of instead of having this dark yeah. you know attic kind of yeah. then I think it's yeah, going to you... be nice so the roof is going to go right up to a point here and mm -hmm. then this way it will go up to a point um in the middle of this so it'll go up to a point there and it'll meet the roof you can actually see it better on the other side because i've got a little bit further on this side and mm -hmm. we can we will be having a big picture window at this end if mm -hmm. you like it and then oh yeah so we can see our there. backyard yeah and that actually works quite well so the main section of the roof is higher than this subsidiary set. Oh, you're so creative. I'm l loving this. It's such a great <laughs> idea. Uh, whoops. It, I think, <laughs> yeah, I know. That looks a bit flat there. I might put another line. Mm -hmm. uh, I might, that might probably should have started out. Yeah, I think I've started it course having done half the roof I think I've started it in the wrong place hmm yeah it'd be better if it's stuck out it okay. kind of takes a little wonky or moving it around a little bit yeah I think to the get with, these things right I think the thing with roofs is you've always got to be prepared to take everything down and then start again so I'm just going to take a, it's awful to say this I'm going to take a lot of this down because I think I've started it in the wrong place. I like roofs that stick out. I don't mm -hmm. like them being flat with the building. Oh, no. And Me neither. And that's what I've managed to achieve here. So mm -hmm. we're going to take... And, of course, if the roof is wrong um, that early on, it will be wrong later on. Oh, yeah. And then there's even so more that you have to redo. I want to start the roof was there. That's it. I was having trouble. That's it. Mm, should that come out this is the problem where you've got these windows actually I may have been right the first time it may look a bit flat mm -hmm. but getting the roof to look right in this corner no I think I would rather put up with the flatness than with the problems I'd have if I bring the roof this way mm-hmm the only other Oop. way to do it would be to put a second story and I don't want to do that. I think it's, you know, right. We're going to put up with a slightly flat roof. We'll, we'll hide it some way, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not really. I'm sure you're going to come up with something that looks amazing because you always do. So. Well, I come up with ideas that you can say yay or nay to. Oh. <laughs> But well, for the I, most part, I really like your ideas, <laughs> even though I do sometimes kind of tease you a little bit with it and <laughs> kind of make it sound like I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> it takes oh, an awful lot of work. These, these, when you've got a building as ours <laughs> is that is actually uneven, mm -hmm. our building is not, it's even this way, which is running from this direction along to here then it's even but that's kind of the funny thing when you start out building a building way. without having it all planned out when you start yeah. Yeah. and then you kind of have to make it work over time but I really like our house actually because it's so 
different. Um, it's not all lot, structured and... Well, a lot of people um, will build things in creative, uh, mm -hmm. get the house they like, which looks fantastic, and then they will put it together in Minecraft. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't do that. I actually do it very differently. I always build with the terrain, and I know mm -hmm. that you love doing that too. And I never have the finished house in mind when I start. And to me, it gives all my buildings a very unique feel. Mm -hmm. um, in one series of Minecraft, I started doing a, you know, just a temporary house. Um, it, and then I ended up with a full, I think it was on five floors Alpine Chalet that looked absolutely outstanding. <laughs> oh, nice. And it was all by accident. Uh -huh. And I've always found this, that I build off the cuff. Um, mm -hmm. And in a sense, I'm a builder, not a copier. Mm -hmm. And that makes life very different. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, but it's amazing what people can build in Minecraft. Like sometimes that something will be tweeted or something and I'm just sitting there and I'm so amazed with the creativity of people. Oh, I know. It's astonishing, isn't it? That's a while ago, I, well, I think maybe a month or two months or yeah. something, there was one that was tweeted. It was kind of like someone who had made like a, an entire like fantasy, like there was an island, but then there was these like gigantic like castle and amazing statues. And I was like, oh my God, it's amazing what people can come up with. But the like, real question to ask is is it built as we build in survival where you have mm -hmm. to get all the resources or oh i think that one was creative yeah i mean there's a certain lack of challenge in creative oh yeah but you don't have to all you know grind all the resources no, and everything is done for you mm -hmm. is that even it is. It doesn't look even when I'm up on the roof, but it is even. It's extraordinary, <laughs> isn't it? Now, what are you up to down there, Yanni? I'm just kind of harvesting a little bit here. Oh, excellent. We could do with so, that. We could do with so that. Thought I might as well do that while you're yeah. messing around with the roof a little bit. Yeah, um, I can stop messing around with the roof <laughs> at any time. <laughs> but you know what it's like when you, when you sort of get into it? Um, yeah, no, but no, but you were just kind of thinking about something, and I, I know that then it's kind yeah. of important to finish the thought, kind of, yeah, and do what you are thinking about doing. One of the problems with netherrack is you would not believe. I've almost oh. cleared our chest. You Where did believe. you come from? <laughs> there was a baby zombie in our garden. Are we growing Ooh. those now? The, the Apparently, must be, there must be a bit that's unlit. Well, he came, He was in the um, the water down here in the pond. In he spawned case, in the. He yeah. must have spawned next to the water or in the water yeah. or something. I'm not they quite sure. But... They can't spawn in water. No, I didn't think so. But I was in the water, so I think he so... just kind of jumped into the water to join me. No, there's <laughs> going to be a bit that's unlit or badly lit. Yeah. So... Well, it's okay. We're kind of at a stage right now where, where you know, it's not like you end up dying that easily just because, you know, the one zombie, zombie spawned yeah. somewhere. That's absolutely true. Now, I've been, we, Yanni and I were chatting before I came on, and we were chatting for quite a long time, and uh, Yanni didn't realize that I was already in the game. So <laughs> been... uh, no, I was not. I was just sitting there talking. <laughs> so I sort of thought, well, while I'm here, you know, why don't I just sort of have a go at this roof? And one thing led to another, and I ended up, one more, one more, doing a full roof. <laughs> We've got all sorts of, I've got all sorts of gold nuggets and stuff coming down this sort of pipeline here. Um, but it's kind of good when you're listening to someone, you oh. know, to just sit and do something, you know, at the same time. Uh, because uh, for the most part you just have to sit there and say mm, okay <laughs> yes i understand okay no that's right yes well guys we were actually having a very fascinating chat that i was enjoying enormously i, I mean you guys like us chatting on record 
but I have to say that some of the stuff off record is even nicer. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. <laughs> At times it is, indeed. Because the oh. thing about Yanni and I is we do actually get on, we're not just a, a Minecraft uh, partnership. We do get on exceptionally well, I think. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm so happy we started doing this. Mm. Like, because we haven't really, we, we, no, we didn't really talk before that. Like, it was like we only on. We strangers. We people make friends through a lot of yeah. things, and we made friends through Minecraft, didn't we? Through actually playing together. Oh yeah, and that's amazing. It's lovely when it goes that way. God, I've got a horrible bit there. We need another primary. We need to. Was was that what we wanted to do with this room? Actually, what? This extra room we have underneath here. Well, we sort of allocated it because we thought we were going to run out of storage. Yeah, and I was thinking we should do like a farming area in here because the farming chest is, is full now. Then why don't we do so that? So I was thinking, we, oh, oh, well, like a cooking area was what I was thinking. Like where you have all the stuff for farming and cooking and, well, apart from that, it's getting made over here. But, Sounds you know, over time, you hmm? I would say go for it, Yanni, go for it. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, oh, I need chests. I need chests. Yep. But guys, I get so intimidated when I'm playing with Ash because Ash is just so creative. That is not true. Like, <laughs> yes, it is. You're so creative. I You're see. more of a builder than I am, actually. Well, uh, people people often think I'm, much, I'm very much a builder, but I do like building, but I'm not at all to the degree that you do. Well, I'm always um, astonished when I watch you play Banished at how beautiful your towns look. But that is only, I think it's because that is only building. Like, it's... Yes. Uh, here, well, it's like... the fact that everybody dies. Oh, yeah. All the time. <laughs> when I'm playing, at least. <laughs> <laughs> I always end up killing off, uh, like, the majority of my population. Yeah. And then I'm sitting there, okay, I have, like, uh, housing for 1,000 villages. And I have, uh, like, 30 left. <laughs> I have to say that uh, one of the videos I found the most sort of not difficult to watch but uh, I've watched Hell DM play Banished and mm -hmm. he's playing as I am I'm playing the North 6 again with the new yeah. update which is 3.2 oh yeah I no, noticed no, no, that was one out actually 6.2 which is lovely but he mm -hmm. decided to go for the sort of Adam and Eve start mm -hmm. where you just go with two villagers and also the Iron Man start, which is, you know, they're always dying of hunger. Mm -hmm. And it's really awful because it's so tricky. And you, mm -hmm. you almost have to manage everything by hand. And it's so oh, yeah. frustrating, so frustrating. I just don't know how he has the patience. I really don't. Oh, but I've t I've tried the Adam and Eve just in oh, normal banished. Oh, yeah. no, not well in colonial chat or, or one of those. Yeah, I tried it once, yeah. And, I and it's it is something that takes patience. Um, I don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I don't mind it if I'm just, but it's hard to record from it because things happen so slowly. Yes. Uh, unlike you know. With the other times, it's like you have a hard time keeping up with how yeah. fast everything is moving. Yeah. Uh, but in that, it's like it, it's such a slow start until you get some people. So it's like, do I want to record this or do I not want to record this? Yeah. But at the yeah. same time, if you're like me and you kind of want to show people what is this like, like this game or this yeah. mod, then you kind of have to show it. Absolutely. So it's like had to find the right balance but definitely but that's what i love about banish that you know there's these amazing mods for it so you can kind of tailor it to mm. who you are as a player so if you like that challenge and you don't mind it being slow you can do that but you can also choose a much easier start where you have some resources in the beginning or maybe even some buildings yeah. and you kind of get a, a head start that way absolutely yeah. Plus just all these amazing mods that are out there for the game. Like, I haven't played Banished in a while. Um, I kind of outplayed myself a little on it, well, I you think. you can. You can play a game until you're totally fed up with it. 
and I just I got too caught up in all of these like survival type games is where oh, it is that's where my heart is I do yeah. love banished like modded banished is like amazing yeah. but ultimately I'm an explorer and that's what I was like what I meant with building I like building but if I have the choice to explore or build I often end up just exploring like I love exploring I love grinding resources I like you know going out there and seeing the sights kind of yep I understand that and the same happens in my animalica people are always like oh but when are you gonna start building your base and I'm like but but I still have to explore this and I have to explore (laughs) that because they have kind of they they have this they are revamping a lot of the um the biomes oh are they uh yes in in well, Animalica is built up in biomes, so there's like currently there's 14 where one of them is just for building. Mm. So it's like kind of just a flat island. Um, but the other ones are huge and they have kind of been going back to the older ones and, yeah. you know, changing them. And that means a lot of stuff would respawn, like these animals that you um, tame and save. You have to kind of cure them in that game because ah. they're infected. Um, and they they have when they've been changing these biomes means i would have to go back you know and explore them again and see what's the new stuff so even though i played the game for such a long time i'm like i don't have much put down at all at my base like i have all the crafting stations that you can have in the game but i haven't actually like started to place everything down and build some houses and you know build enclosures for the animals and all that yes i haven't gotten to that yet and i'm like but there's so much i want to explore (laughs) <laughs> I am at a halt with this roof. Oh yay! Because um, uh, the it's like watching paint dry, waiting mm-hmm. for these nether bricks to cook. Ah, yeah, that's another thing. So Ooh. I'm going to see if I can get one more lot of uh, steps, mm-hmm. and then when I've done that, no, I can't. Uh, five. Uh, when you're building with nether brick guys you first of all have to burn the brick into the you burn the nether rack into these bricks then it takes four bricks to make a block of nether brick and then if you want to make steps as I do you've then got to take another four bricks then you have to have six of these and then eventually out of all that lot you get four steps I mean, mm-hmm. building with netherrack is, you know, that's gone into nether brick. It's a labour of love. You have to really want to build with it. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. I love building with it. <laughs> so I do, but normally I do something else while I'm waiting for it to uh, boil up. Yeah. Yeah, but this is looking better. It's looking a lot better, I think. Why have I got a gap there? I do not know. Let's put that in. I think we were looking at different options. Okay, I just put a couple of chests down here, but we will get back to this room, I'm sure, later. Yeah. There we go. Uh... I think I need a chest up here. Um, Let's just put a temporary chest. Oh, right. Well, potatoes, by the way, we just boil all, all the potatoes, or do they have, or like cook them, or do they have another use? Uh, yes, they don't, 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 don't do all the potatoes. Keep okay. Half. And the reason is, let me put this upstairs. The reason I don't want you to cook all of them is I want to do some villager trading. Mm-hmm. And if we do villager trading, there is a villager called a farmer who will give us emeralds if we give him carrots and potatoes. Ah. Yeah. So Okay, I well, we have thought, a stack of potatoes in here so far. Yeah, so what we would want to take over, we would need to take paper. So we'd need to convert about half this sugar cane to paper. We'd need mm-hmm. to take carrots. We'd need to take potatoes. Uh, we need to take wheat. And I think that's most of what we would be able to trade. Mm -hmm. But the big trade items are paper, carrot, potatoes, wheat. Um, I'm not sure about the melon. 
Oh, pumpkins. We'd have to take pumpkins as well. Ah, okay. And so the... Well, you know what? I am going to place a chest right over here under the window. Yes. For now. We can always remove it. Just for stuff we want to bring to the villagers. So we can kind of start filling it up a little bit. Yeah. Villager children. Um, Villager in preparation children. for that. Yeah. Um. So we would, just so we kind of know, okay, there's some potato. You said potatoes and carrots. Yeah. Um, and um, pumpkins. Yeah. And then paper. Yeah. And then I didn't forget if there was something else. <laughs> Probably. Probably. Not the melons, right? Beet what do we do with beetroot? Uh, I don't think we can trade beetroot, but I'm not sure. We'd have to go and have a look. So the only use is to make... Um, I learned um, villager trading before beetroot came into the game. <laughs> ah. Yeah. So the only use for beetroot is uh, for um, dye? Or is there another use for it? Uh, you can make beetroot soup. You know oh, you can right. make mushroom soup. If you take three mushrooms and a bowl, you can oh. make beetroot soup, which I believe in Eastern Europe is called borscht. And I think that it's very popular in Eastern Europe. So I think that the fact that they've put that in is um, a sort of... Uh, it's a plus, because they've got mm -hmm. things like pumpkin pie that I always think of as being very American. And mm -hmm. chocolate cookies that I think of as being very American. Um, and so I always think that the, the red beetroot soup is a nod to uh, the Eastern Europeans who may not align with pumpkin pie. I don't mm -hmm. know. If anyone's watching us who's Eastern European, please let us know. Are you making oh. paper? Are you making paper? Yeah. Good, good, good. There you go. I made. I'm um, just. I just took like yeah. four stacks of the sugar cane and thought I would make them into some paper. So we have it. I don't know when we started recording, Yanni. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, well, one, once we are ready to kind of go off and do whatever our plans is for today, we can start the next episode. That sounds like uh, a plan. There we go. That was paper. Yeah. Oh, but I wanted to ask, by the way, with the, like, so if I do, can you make beetroot soup in here, like no, by leaving no, no, the no, bowl no. and the, no. no, okay, you have to do it in the, <laughs> no, <laughs> let me give you your soup and your beetroot back. So um, you have to do it in yeah. crafting chest? Yes, in a crafting chest. Ah, okay. Um, no, I was just wondering if you could do it that way or if you couldn't. No, no. It, mm. that is an oven just cook stuff it doesn't mm -hmm. put stuff together ah but bummer i i mean the people watching us will know but i don't think that you can um roast beetroot mm. but if you can somebody who's watching this please let me know there you go I'm, well i mean a little bit i can see you i can see the she, look, she's got borscht in hand. She's got red beetroot soup in hand. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, and yes. You, and when you drink the soup, you should be left with the bowl. Uh, yes. Usually we uh, you get, do that. I thought I made three, but I guess I only made two. Huh. Okay, well, it was just kind of fiddling around. I have to remind myself of all this stuff. <laughs> um, because we don't always do all oh. of this. Um, which yeah. one is for? Food um, is over here. Oh look! Yeah, that's wow. That's quite a crimson color. That beetroot soup, isn't it? Oh yes. Mushroom. I was trying to remind myself where the beet where I took the beetroot from, but I got it in this chest over here from farming. Unfortunately, they don't stack. So no. If you are, you know, if you're taking food with you, I mean, there's 34 cooked fish. Mm -hmm. as opposed to one beetroot soup. So if you're going on a long journey, what are you going to take? 34 cooked fish. In fact, it would go probably up to 64 that will fit in a box. Or oh. beetroot soup, where you have to use up most of your inventory. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> 
So as so I just feel like certain things like that, you might not end up. But what is there any advantage in eating it? You, it fills you up more, I would imagine. I would imagine, but I just don't know. I, I, it's not something I ever use, really. No, no, I'm the same. I kind of just made a couple because I want to find out later. Yeah. So then we have some at if least. If we go but... over to the villagers, we've got beds over there. Mm -hmm. I've got a lot of wood on me, which is what we'd need. I've got coal, I've got iron, I've got weapons. Um, I've got arrows. Um, I'm just going to go down to the passive mob trap to mm -hmm. see whether we've got anything in there, like arrows that I could take with me. Go oh on. yeah, I have the amazing bow, so I just needed to have one arrow on you me. just need one arrow. Yep. The infinity bow, it's wonderful. Oh yes. And if you've got the fantastic fishing rod with you, have you? No, no, I put that out in the fishing chest. Yeah, I got eight arrows here. Just having this extra... Oh, that reminds me, the other thing that you can sometimes trade with the clerics is zombie flesh. Some of them will accept zombie flesh. Oh, right. And as so you that would imagine, be... We yes. have a lot of zombie f flesh um, in here. Absolutely. Actually, it's the only use we have for zombie, f zombie flesh, isn't yes, it? Yes, it's one of the very few uses for it. Apart from the fact you can feed dogs with it. That's why everyone calls, oh. it, that's why everyone calls it dog meat. Ah, right. So, let's that's put good. our gunpowder. Oh, I've got 13 arrows there, good. Uh, spider eye. You've taken the zombie flesh. Yeah, I put it all over in the, in this uh, villager's yeah. chest. Do some okay. people take string? I don't know. Probably everything I leave, I will need with me. But it's okay. That's how it always and is. We can take our horses <laughs> for a run. Oh, we ought to sleep. Then we can oh, sleep. yeah. Now you're ready well, to I start out. But I think we're going to head out and do something else in the next episode, guys. Okay. So shall this we was say just... this was just a sort of our normal chatting. <laughs> oh, yes. Bye-bye, so, guys. See you in the next bye -bye, episode. Bye-bye, guys.